Hello and welcome back to my Build a City Challenge. Uh, and welcome back to Monica. Uh, I've forgotten how nice her house is actually. She's got a nice little space. So yeah, it's spring for Monica. We're going to do the rest of her rotation. Um, and see how we get on with her. She's going to focus on painting for this season. On making some friends I'm sure. Well I think she'll be friends with a lot of people now. Oh a few. And of course her relationship with Freddy. Three bolts they now have. Which is pretty exciting. Uh, but she's kind of focused on on Freddy quite a lot so she hasn't really gotten to know the others so hopefully uh, we'll get to sort that out as well but first let's have her get herself ready for the day and carry on with some painting painting her pajamas with a view of the sea is a pretty good choice get some nice fresh air some inspiration it's all good Okay, she's got her first creativity skill points. A second. Okay, she's doing quite well there. So that's going to help the paintings get less weird as she goes along. That would be nice. So she wants to influence someone to serve a meal. Fantastic. Have a bubble bath. Oh, she's a pleasure sim. Yeah, she's going to want to do some nice things. Oh my goodness, look at this dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the perfect dog for Monica. talk to the puppy Monica you've got plenty of smolians that's fine so she okay so she's currently afraid of being rejected for engagement by Freddy but doesn't want to get married just yet so a bit like Jace actually she doesn't want to feel rejection but isn't ready to take the first step herself oh, wouldn't this be the perfect dog for her feed her a treat she's called Grace my plan for pets is whoever does manage to befriend or adopt a dog first, or an animal first, will need to open the pet shop and they'll have to run that business. That'll be their responsibility. Ah. Let's see if she even likes animals. Yeah, take them or leave them. But Grace is just too cute. Oh, it's the good witch. Oh, God. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> what a savage tiny dog. <laughs> How far can they go? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Let's tell her off. Don't be a bad... <laughs> poor, poor male lady. What's her name? Minnie. It's a tiny, tiny dog. She might just bite your ankles. Angry little dog. So that's not nice, but she can have a little stroke. And a little pocket treat. <laughs> this dog hates people. <laughs> Perfect dog to bring into your home. Okay, so Monica can have a bubble bath. And we'll just hope that Grace doesn't destroy everything in the house while she's here. Ah, yeah, she's going to destroy everything in the house while she's here, isn't she? She goes off, yeah. That is Monica's only decorative item. Little vase of flowers sitting on the floor. So Monica's an artist and I realise her house is incredibly drab. Um, she's going to need some new wallpaper and things. Mm. She's got some money so I think we can do that for her. Um, get the house looking a bit nicer. Uh, so let's add some wallpapers. I think she'll be the kind of person to just decorate her space, make it her own. Maybe some paint. Okay, that's a bit of a start. It's not just plain grey anymore. Oh my goodness. Please don't destroy everything, Grace. Monica's trying to take a relaxing bubble bath as a stray dog destroying her bin. Oh, is she gone? Okay. See you later, Grace. Maybe we'll get to hang out at some point. 
Let's get some sandwiches. So she wants to buy a car, but that's not going to happen. She just wants to freestyle for tips. So maybe we'll go to the um, to the park and see if we see anybody there that will give her money for her freestyling. Okay, so we're at the Stormy Cove Park. Got a few familiar faces. Uh, we've got Jill and Tiffany. And uh, let's... Why not freestyle, Monica? See how much money you can make. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jill loves it. She's got the rhythm. She's an artist, she's a rapper. Tiffany's less certain. She thinks she stinks. <laughs> Don't you ever actually listen to this interaction the whole way through? You gave her money, Jill. You're getting into it. You can't say she stinks. Oh, they're feeling it. What about these two? No, nothing yet. <laughs> it keeps going. It's impressive. Let's let's call that a day, Monica. How much you get? Almost nothing. But did help with her once, so that's fine. Let's go. Create Eloise. Okay, she wants to play to pull break. Interrupt Eloise's chess game. Let's make some more friends. Mm. 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 to play, so let's sort that out. Play catch, wasn't it? Let's play some catch. Okay, creative. Creativity level three, we'll lock that in. And she can play catch with Eloise while the townies sit together and conspire to just keep duplicating. We'll try a prank. She wants to do it. I don't know if it'll go down well. Don't know how good Eloise's sense of humour is. Uh -uh. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eloise says to burglars. She's got a shotgun in her house. How's this going to go down? Oh. Nope. Oh no. Oh. Let's admire her for only crying for a little bit. Okay, she's back. She's got some bills to pay. Some needs to look after. We had a hot dog in the park, so it doesn't really need any food. We'll try and get her to finish uh, this painting. Well, it's me. I got distracted by the dog, so I can't really blame Monica for that one. Okay, fantastic. She got her next skill point, and she also finished the painting. So let's sell it for those five simoleons, and let Monica go to bed. Well done. That's a good start. Nice colour palette. So it's another lovely day for Monica. We'll get her to do some slight chores, get some breakfast. Now she does have some simoleons, so I think today we'll send her to Freddy's shop and pick up some things she needs, like an oven, another counter potentially. Um, things to make her life go a bit easier. Just start building her house up a little bit. It counts that for some reason, so let's carry on making the cereal. And then once that's done, she can come back and paint a bit more. Because, yeah, all of her wishes at the moment are to buy things. A piano, a bubble blower, a TV. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Freddy has one. You could move in with him. 
We arrived at Freddy's and I've just realised that I have made a huge mistake in that I didn't let Freddy restock everything before he finished his round. <laughs> oh no, Freddy, please. Please restock some things. Thank you. Well, let's just watch the clouds and hope that Freddy gets things uh, restocked fairly quickly. Oh, he's doing the oven. Fantastic. Oh, good boy, Freddy. He's on it. And Porsche's here. Let's chat to Porsche. Oh, Vada. We just grab that oven before someone else nabs it. Get to experience the general store from the other sides of a very crowded room. Oh, just make friends with Porsche. Zambla. <laughs> oh, Porsche having feelings for Freddy. It's probably quite good that at the end of this season we're introducing some more Sims because it's a very small pool at the moment who they can be uh, involved with and it's already getting messy or has a potential to. Okay, Freddy's going to check us out. Mm. Amanda's very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. So I think we'll send her home because I don't know that there's any uh, anything else she can buy for right now. Uh, I also don't think I've stocked any kitchen counters somehow. I think what I thought was a desk is actually a... or what I thought was a counter is actually a desk or a dining table. So we'll send her home. I should have her oven at least. And I think a crate desk would be fairly, a crate counter would be fairly easy to set up. So we'll see how we do. So Monica's back and brought the oven. She had already an oven in her inventory and a, a crate dining table too. So I made some mistakes there. I should have checked her inventory before we did anything else. What's that? She got a season controller. Uh, so yeah, so I should have checked that earlier. She has a second oven now. How exciting for her. Well, at the very least, she can have uh, some more exciting lunch. She can have a TV dinner. Hmm, and that isn't a counter. So I'm just going to switch that for one because it should have been in Freddy's um, shop. Should have been a counter, so I'll just switch that out. There we go. Some lovely crate furniture to be replaced at a later date. I've actually got a bit of a nicer kitchen going on. I think probably Monica would have a slightly different covered oven. Let's give her a pink one. An attempt again not to burn the house down. We've been very lucky so far. I've just said that, which is really silly. Now the entire town's going to burn down. Um, but so far, so good. Well done, Monica. Okay, her next painting is coming uh, coming together. Looks like a flower. <coughs> and she's almost at her fourth skill point as well. So she's making good progress. Maybe this will sell for a bit more than five simoleons when she's done with it. In a bit, we'll have her take a break. And I think invite Freddy over. It's a lot more restful playing um, a sim that's just working on a skill or a craft compared to the um, the business lots. That's pretty full on in terms of managing. I can just watch Monica do this. It's great. I'm, I'm probably cutting it down for the video. I hope I am. <laughs> so it's slightly more entertaining to watch. Uh, but quite a restful experience after the other uh, slightly crazy households. Okay, it's dark. It's raining. Uh, we'll have Monica come inside. Ah, oh, and there's somebody with a broken default replacement. Sorry, Alfonso. Oh, and she's got access to the um, 
the creativity lots. That's pretty good. Let's try some mac and cheese, Monica. See how we go with that. It's a full-on storm. Let's hope our art doesn't get totally ruined. I feel like it should be in, if it was realistic. <laughs> That'd be a soggy canvas. Okay, here we go again. The dangerous mac and cheese. Comfort's low. Ah. Fantastic. Ah, oh, well done, Monica. Cleaning up. Give, her size, give herself a slightly nicer place to eat her, her meals in. Get that put away. You can have cold mac and cheese tomorrow. And let's try and take care of some needs. Apparently standing up and painting all day makes you a bit uncomfortable. Who would have thought? This good witch keeps calling everybody up. She is a needy individual. Oh, that's Scout, that's not Grace. Oh, uh, Monica's taking herself to bed. She's had enough. That's fair enough. We'll see her in the morning. Okay, it's so the next day. The storm is finally over. Uh, Monica can look after herself a little bit. I think today, so she hasn't rolled the want for it. Oh, she has just this morning. Well, never mind. Ignore me. She wants to ask Sim on a date. I was going to do that anyway. So thank you, Monica. Buy a piano. No. Uh, we're going to ask Freddy on a date today. We'll try and finish the painting and then um, get Freddy around, have a date. Her lifetime want is to have 50 dream dates, so we can work towards that anyway and get her uh, just a bit more socialised. Having a bit more fun. She's a pleasure sim. She's got to have the simple joys. And that includes painting in your underwear in the garden at 6.40am. She has too many, too many newspapers. She's let them pile up. <laughs> I dread to think what her and Freddie's house would look like if they both moved in together. There's going to be newspapers everywhere. Oh, she's finished it. Fantastic. Well done, Monica. How much will this sell for? Nine simoleons. Well, we're getting there. Let's have you clean up some of these newspapers. Oh, no, that was a fear. Oh, that counts as selling a bad painting. Oh, no. Oh, Monica, I'm sorry. You're embarrassed to sell your tulip painting. That's not good. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's ask Freddy on a date. Let's see how that goes. Because, yeah, actually, Freddy's the only one at the moment she has any bolts with at all. Oh, that's dropped down to two. I wonder why that is. Just come out to ours, Freddy. That'll be fine. Um, yeah. So she doesn't have any attraction to Jace. And obviously Carson is gay, so that's not an option. So she might as well have some fun J dating J dating Freddy um, while she can. Here we go. It's date time. So Freddy's here. Okay, so let's just look at some wants. So he wants to have two loves at once, which he already is in love with um, with Monica. So we will leave that as it is. Um, if you want to talk to Monica, play with Monica, dance, lovely date once. That's the same for Monica, playing and dancing, I assume, talking, tickling. Of course, we have to tickle on dates. But he fears getting married to her. So we're not going to be having a rapid wedding on this date, I would imagine. Let's have them just chat to begin with. She has given her a very beige room <laughs> to hang out in here. Match the walls to the carpet. That's probably a bit unintentional. Okay, it's enough chatting. <laughs> they love to gossip. Oh. They both love tickling. 
That's their love language. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, let's get some. This is going. Make out. Oh, outside for some classic dancing. I'm she's. Oh, they're so cute. Hmm. Oh god, Carson just watching them dancing. Oh no. Oh. Poor guy. I like the difference in their styles. Like how Monica's all covered in paint. Freddy's all neat and business-like. They're a good pair. I like the contrast. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's going well. <laughs> Well, she wants to woohoo. Oh, and... Yep, ACR's oh. taking over. Don't worry about it. It's all under control. Oh, thanks guys for wearing your underwear. That's, um... That's very kind of you. A casual woohoo, that's fine. I'm not rushing into it like, uh... Jason Porsche. <laughs> well, that's pushed Monica up to platinum. It hasn't quite made it a dream day yet. I'm guessing Freddy should do it. Well, why don't you serve some lunch for both of you? <laughs> they both do the lazy get dressed. That's really great. Freddy, wait one minute and she'll get you some sandwiches. Cooking skill for Monica, fantastic. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so will Freddy get the chair? Or will Monica sit there? I think Freddy will have to take it. She'll see it in the kitchen, that's fine. Oh, and that was dream date. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> One bite of a sandwich, and it's all good. Okay, well, I had some sandwiches. We'll try and do a few more uh, date interactions, but that is already a dream date, so we could send Freddy home at this point and carry on painting. It's been a nice day. Yeah, have a dream date. So if I end the date now, it'll be a dream date. Monica's gained some reputation. Freddy's over the moon. And that should have topped up her aspiration while we don't buy her anything for the next few seasons. Out to paint she goes. We'll let Freddy hang out in the house. <laughs> so Freddy's catching butterflies, Monica's painting. She is racking up those skill points. She's doing really well. I think she's about to get her fifth. Which is good news. Oh, thanks, Freddy. You those jar of butterflies. Oh, going in for a second one. Never mind the ecosystem. Okay, Monica is at level 5, which is fantastic. That should help her paintings be a bit less rubbish when she comes to sell them. Oh yeah, Freddy, just line them up. That's absolutely fine. Okay, it's gone 6. Let's give her a break. Let's release these butterflies. She's got some more enthusiasm in arts and crafts, which is excellent. I wish she'd say hi to Carson. Just 
see how he's doing. Oh, not very well. Look at him just come to shake in our doorway. I mean, it's not ideal because Freddy is here. And that could cause some issues. But, you know, maybe we can be friends. Are you, um... Okay there, Freddy. You're staring into space. Over your rotten plate of sandwich. I'll leave you to it. Oh, Carson. Okay, let's pay your bills, Monica. Get those sorted out. See if Freddy and Carson can not fight. Let's clean these up because the environment is nasty. <laughs> Freddy's not helping, he doesn't clean his own house. <laughs> I feel like Carson just has not found his people yet. Nobody in this town is really the ideal kind of person for him. We'll clean that up as well. Should let that food go rotten. We'll have some dinner. Oh, some spaghetti. Things are getting better, Monica. You're getting good skills, good creative, good cooking. Oh, the sounds of a pillow fight. Excellent. Yeah, they were almost friends. That's right, I remember now. They they became friends and it dropped off really quickly. So maybe some pillow fights at Monica's will uh, will help them out. <laughs> so I chop vegetables, just wildly fling the knife at it. Well, they're getting on well. I'm going to play catch. Ah, oh, just stand six feet away from each other. Mm. A re responsible safe distance. Ah. Oh, kicky bag. The international language of friendship. Oh, Monica. Well, it's not on fire. It had to happen eventually. I can eat some burned spaghetti. Keeping an eye on Monica's knees. They seem to be dropping. I don't know if that's just normal or... It's definitely just a casual woohoo. They didn't try for baby. That's it. Just choke down your burned spaghetti. Some for Carson too. Stand around while Freddy sits. <laughs> don't know why he always ends up with the seats. It's nice and get to know each other. Carson and Freddy both been very polite with their food, eating it despite it being completely rancid. And then once you're done, you'll send everyone home and get a bubble bath. <laughs> Sorry, lads, just start your water balloon flight. Might even. Uh, time to go home. It's 11 pm on a spring evening. Monica needs a bath. Oh, Carson feeling good. He's had a nice little hangout there. I'll clean that up as well. I don't tend to keep burnt food around. Maybe it's wasteful, but. She's going to be picky. Oh, Frey just came by with a bouquet of flowers. So thank you for a lovely first date. Well, second date. Oh, I never knew two sims like us could share such happy hours. Each lovely second's memory smells sweeter than these flowers. Oh, Freddy. What a romantic. Okay, so it is actually Monica's last day of spring. 
I'm going to get her doing some chores. Uh, and then carry on with her painting. And if this one's also only a few smolions, I think I'll just keep it and hang it up in her house. Um, instead of making her sad that she sold a bad painting. I also did cave and repaint her uh, house <laughs> into a nice little pink rather than uh, the slightly ugly beige. Carpet's still the same though. I figure carpet's harder to replace and just putting up some paint on the walls. So that'll come a bit later. Okay, so she wants to ask a sim on a date again. She still wants to buy a piano. Um, so at some point we'll hopefully have a music shop where she'll be able to do that. Uh, but talk about a hobby and also buy a game. So we can do some of that today for her. Hmm. Uh, it's well, apparently Freddy just popped round for a chat. Well, let's go say hey. Did she give him a key? <laughs> I think they're so well suited. Maybe they should move in together. Not get married, I don't think. They're not at that point yet. But they just get on really well. Oh, I say hi to Jace as well. I think Monica's house is like the hub for uh, entertaining. Or it's that she's in the house all day, whereas my other sims are all out doing their businesses. So I never get to see people that just stop by. Um, but let's say she's the social hub. Everyone likes to hang out. At, uh, at Monica's. And Freddy just thinks that's the funniest vase of flowers in the whole world. That's what you are. We love BB. Okay, that painting's getting close to finished, I think. <laughs> Freddy cackles in the background. And she's getting close to her next skill point, which would be number six. Which is not bad going for one season of painting. Her skills have improved. She's thinking about colour, composition, tigers. And there we go. So. Okay, that's 28. But well, I don't want this to be a bad painting, so I'll save this one for her. Put that up. In her living space she can show that off and she can start a new one ah she can do portraits now okay ah Ooh, see the... oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> mm. ah a little kiss by the rose bush ah. this is. okay let's make everyone some food since freddy's here again Let's make something else. Trumpo. Let's make some ramen. It's a hearty lunch. Oh, my God. Do we not have enough of this last time, Freddy? I heard you. I heard you eating the rubbish. She's here making you lovely ramen. Oh my god. Oh, as if nothing happened. Maybe she just move in with him. You can stop eating rubbish in her house. See, look how nice that is. It's so detailed. Oh, it's in his face. <laughs> Freddy sits once again. Oh, Freddy yeah, can just enjoy the delightful ramen chaser after his handful of rubbish. Which is mainly newspapers and burnt spaghetti. Oh, happy to sell Freddy again. A lovely butterflies. Oh. Let these go. Mm. Mm. 
Savone. Shy shy. Okay, let's send Freddy home. He's been here long enough. Uh, I want to invite someone else over. So I think she should invite Portia over and just hang out for a bit. Okay, so here's Portia. Let's get them to hang out. Oh, pillow fight. Who needs intervention? They will do it themselves. <laughs> Poor she's like, no, no, too much. Oh, she lied. <laughs> Poor she tells a good joke. Monica tells a good joke, I mean. Let's just have some kicky bag. And that's enough of that. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, do not want to hang out at all. Okay, pillow fight. That's all we want to do. That's fine. Let's try spaghetti again. Let's see if we can make that work. And help the butterflies out before they die. Oh, Freddy's back. Can't keep him away. I love how well lit this painting is compared to everything else. It's the brightest thing in the room. She did it! Nice spaghetti. Excellent. I mean, ramen spaghetti in one day is quite a lot of noodles. Noodle shaped things. Well, this time Monica got to sit down. That's quite nice for her. <laughs> and Porsche takes a turn. Everyone gets to share the chair. Only Freddy hogs it. Oh, impossible to clean up that bowl. Oh, second bowl for Porsche. She is pregnant. She's probably starving. Anna. Another bubble bath. A comfort falls really quickly. Probably because she only has a garden chair to sit on and mostly stands up all day. <laughs> this witch loves to speak to everybody. Let's try and get up to a friendship with Portia. Do the best we can. <laughs> Bless me. Let's hang out for a bit. Oh, is she leaving? Oh no, just hugging. Nice. I think that would be nice for her to have another friend. She's been pretty all in on um, on Freddy. They have a full relationship, but everyone else hasn't really got up that high. Oh, there we go. Friendship with Portia. Let's let that build a bit more. Okay, that's quite a good bit of friendship built up there. We will send Portia home. Get uh, Monica to look after herself a little bit. And then amazingly, that's going to be the end of her round. It is so much quicker when... The sim stays in one place the entire time. It's also potentially a good argument for her moving in with Freddy next time. I think that's what's going to happen in um, in Freddy's next round. That's Monica to move in. His house is bigger. She has a lot of land, but he's got the more more space. I think he's got a second level and a TV. And if she wants to buy stuff, Freddy's the best position in the best position to do that for her because he can actually mm. order things to stock his shop, and she can then have them in their house. Uh, no marriage yet, I don't think, but definitely living together just to kind of help out because um, I can progress Monica's art and things without needing to be um, that the sole focus of the video. So I will move them in. They're also, it also helps they are obsessed with each other, so I don't think it's too cheaty or too soon. But let me know if you think something else.
And so that is the end of Monica's spring rotation. Uh, she's improved her painting skill massively. She's up to level five. She's sold a few bad paintings, kept a, a pretty bad one as well. Done lots of cooking. Really had a good time with Jace and made friends with Portia. And certainly tried with Carson. Um, didn't quite make it. But yeah, that will do it for her around uh, this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please do subscribe, like the video. And I hope to see you next time when we will be with... Uh, Carson, I think. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.